said I'm a crush it. Call me the golden boy. Welcome to Unsung, the nonprofit news magazine show. I'm your host, Anthony Walker. This episode, we're coming to you from the North Shore, right across from Heinz Field, and standing right next to the city's greatest neighbor, Mr. Rogers. In this edition of Unsung, we took a camera to the Greater Pittsburgh Area Food Bank to give you first-hand experience as well as what other attendees thought of Blog Mob. In the video spotlight, you'll find out how you can be a mentor. Let's start with the latest news from our area nonprofits. The Pittsburgh Promise delivered its third annual report card to the community. Promise Executive Director Salim Gubro provided a summary of the program's impact on students. During the past three years, approximately $16 million in Pittsburgh Promise Scholarship Funds has been invested in 2,500 high school graduates who enrolled in 80 different post-secondary colleges, universities, or trade schools in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. During the upcoming 2011-2012 school year, another 700 graduates from the Pittsburgh Public Schools will join the ranks of Promise Scholars as they begin their post-high school education program. Among the successes of the program is the upward trend of students who are using Promise Funds for enrollment in post-secondary education institutions. About 78% of the graduating class of 2010 who were eligible used Promise Funds for one-time enrollment in the fall of 2011, compared with 72% of the class of 2009 and 58% of the class of 2008. Also, during the past year, the RAND Corporation assessed the early progress of the Promise and provided feedback on how the program can continue to make improvements to meet its goals. The full report and a research brief are available at www.rand.org. Mayor Luke Ravenstahl's Love Your Block Grant program kicked off this past weekend and will run through the end of October. Community leaders and volunteers will be completing their block improvement projects in 10 city neighborhoods beginning in Lawrenceville and Garfield. The Block Revitalization Program gives local nonprofit organizations $500 to purchase the supplies and equipment necessary to implement a block improvement project that mobilizes community volunteers. For a complete list of the Love Your Block events, please visit pittsburghpa.gov slash serve pgh. There were superheroes at PodCamp, and you can be one too. The Just Give Me 10 project kicked off, asking you as an individual to donate 10% of your time on social media to a nonprofit or cause. That's just a Facebook post, a tweet, a day or week, or whatever makes sense to you. By doing so, you are a social media hero. Take some time and some social media space to encourage awareness, build a larger online community, advocate, donate, or volunteer for your favorite organizations or cause. As an individual, we are one, but through social media, we can organize ourselves into communities that can do good. Let's work together and be social media superheroes. Look for the session's video coming soon to podcamppittsburgh.com. What is it like to participate in food distribution at a food bank? We sent a camera so you could experience this firsthand at the Greater Pittsburgh Area Food Bank. Special thanks to the blogging community that was in attendance and share their views as well. I think everybody should be involved, and I mean everybody. Um, there's, I had a friend talk to me, that she, tell me that she was involved, and it was like a little spark. And um, I called here and said that I would do anything that they wanted, and right away I thought that I was going to be stocking groceries or repack or something that had to do with food, and I rarely do. There are a lot of jobs at the food bank. It, it's important because, uh, as you're aware, now a lot of people are unemployed, uh, a lot of families, um, as I don't know if you're aware, in America we have a lot of people that are homeless and starving, and I believe that we need to get more and more people involved, in fact, including our government as a whole, to get involved in this thing and support the food bank. There's a lot of hungry people. I have a very soft spot in my heart, especially for hungry children, and if I can make a little difference by helping their parents, then I can definitely make a difference by helping them. The hunger situation as a community 
one, it's a good thing that we have the food banks that, that give, but we also have to be willing to give not only what we receive, but also give ourselves, one, time-wise, like a volunteer, and two, to be able to say to ourselves, what can we do to take away what we call shaming and blaming. In other words, people have to be willing to come to the food bank knowing, you know what, my neighbor is not going to look at me in a different way because I'm from, I go to the food bank. Uh, my name is Mike and I write a food blog, MikeEats.com. As a food blogger, uh, I obviously think about food a lot. It really upsets me that there are people in our neighborhoods who, who go hungry with all the excess food you know, that I find myself throwing away at my house or um, you know, some of the indulgences I have. As a food blogger, I can uh, try to raise some awareness for, for my readers uh, by highlighting some of the issues that are facing some of our neighbors. Uh, the first thing uh, is really just getting people uh, aware of the situation. There are, I think it's one in seven Pennsylvanians uh, are food insecure or deal with hunger. Uh, and uh, the thing that I'm trying to do more uh, as I've learned more about this is to just be a little bit more cognizant of the decisions I make related to food. Uh, think about my food purchases and think if there's other ways that I could use my food dollars to help other people who don't mind have food. I, I believe that, you know, a lot of people need to come to the food bank. I believe that a lot of people must need to come and volunteer themselves. It's a great thing. In fact, even I, I am a product of, uh, I'm a recipient here, but today I'm a giver as well. And it makes me feel good to be able to stand and help the people in my community, one, to receive, and two, to be able to help the food bank to give to the community. Um, get involved. I think it's just that simple. Um, I think a lot of people try to um, make it harder than it is, and it's just get involved. It's whether you get involved through your church or you get involved through the food bank, get involved in some way. There's lots of jobs, there's lots of opportunities. Um, they're not hard to find. The, at the Duquesne Food Bank, for example, you make one phone call, and it's, it's, it's as easy as that. This video spotlight goes to the kids. They and other mentors tell you why you should become a sixth grade mentor. You can help shape the future of our community through its future leaders. I think I want to be a teacher. A soccer player? I haven't really made up my mind at the moment. Either a lawyer or a teacher. Did you know that um, mentoring is really a two-way street? that the mentor gets as much out of the experience as the mentee does. Did you know that students who have mentors have better uh, attendance records and um, better test scores? Students with mentors, uh, they achieve their dreams and they also have a plan. It's been a while since I've been, you know, at that age, but I still have some memory of it and able to talk to him as, a, in a sense, as a peer at times, at times as a mentor, and reflect on my experiences, the challenges I had. Did you know that mentoring helps you connect with things that really matter in life? And to be able to share those gems with others, it's awesome. Every time that I've gone and I've sort of left work in a rush or, or not sure about being there, an hour later when I leave, I say it's, it has been a good hour. It's been a great hour. People who say a lot of times, how can I help my community? How can I help the children in my neighborhood or the school in my neighborhood? And this is one of the positive ways that you can. It can be a very rewarding experience. These are real people. They really exist, and this is something that's accessible to you. If you're able to give the hour, it's a great experience, and why not? It's fun to be able to insert those little life lessons while we're, you know, having a general just conversation about what's going on. Probably the most important part of it is uh, being there every week. It's very rewarding, and I've seen him in the last two years grow. Not just physically, he's grown a lot physically, but just him as a person, I'd like to think I had some influence on that. Oh, it's a, it's a great experience. Uh, it's needed. Uh, are the kids like it, they love it. I'm really happy to do this. But I think that anybody can do it um, who is just willing to say to themselves, I would like a sixth grader to really have not only a positive role model in their life, but also that they will know that there are other people who are there supporting and encouraging them along the way. Did you know that we're making Pittsburgh and the world a better place? One sixth grader at a time. <laughs> Join us at BeASixthGradeMentor.org. October 1st is moving day, 
Walk for Parkinson's disease in North Park at the swimming pool on South Ridge Drive. Get out on what will be a nice fall day and enjoy a stroll for a good cause. MPFMovingDay.org to register 412-365-2086 or PFWPA.org for more information. Yes, Unsung has zombies. Hey, we are Pittsburgh, and it is unavoidable. So if you're joining the other undead for the ever-growing zombie walk in Market Square on October 8th, also bring non-perishable food items for the Greater Pittsburgh Area Food Bank. Yep, that's right. The undead will help to feed the living instead of the other way around. If we can reach this cooperation, think of the other harmony we can achieve in our community. Have fun. Day of Giving is a week away at pittsburghgives.org. Your donation during the 24-hour period of $25 or more will receive a portion of the match pool so it goes further. More information at pittsburghgives.org. Get excited, have some fun, share the event on social media, and help your hard-working nonprofits. Thanks for watching this episode of Unsung. You can check out past episodes and our Unsung Uncut series over at pittsburghonvideo.org. Also, be sure to tell your friends. I've been your host, Anthony Walker, reminding you to keep it awesome, Pittsburgh. So I said I'ma crush it. Call me the golden boy, cause it shine whenever I touch it. Don't rush it, the flow comes naturally. Actually, the whole hood after me. Masterpiece, I outran a pace car. And these dudes fucking mad cause they can't even find a day job. I stay hard with or without Viagra. And I said the flow crush like the force of Niagara. I'm after a major label budget, but since I'm not.